My name is Linda Lunny. Until I retired 18 months ago, I worked in the Dictionary of Irish Biography, which is a project of the Royal Irish Academy. Kathleen Lonsdale got one of the over 9,000 biographies that we wrote for that publication. Along with a colleague, Andalini, I worked on her life. Why should we remember Kathleen Lonsdale? Why is this prize named in her honour? And why, more generally, should we remember her in Ireland? She hadn't the best start in life, at least to outward appearances. She was born in 1903, the youngest of 10 children in Newbridge, County Kildare. Her father was an Englishman who was the town postmaster, but he had a drink problem. And when Kathleen was only a small girl, her mother separated from her father and took her family of 10 children to England. Four of the children died in infancy, but Kathleen made a great success of her education. She got the top county scholarship to go to high school. And when she was 16, she was able to go to attend Bedford College for Women in London. The Nobel Prize winning crystallographer, W.H. Bragg, was the external examiner on Kathleen's outstanding final degree exams. And he was so impressed by the diminutive and very determined young woman that there and then he asked her to join his group in University College London to study the crystals of organic compounds. She developed novel techniques and insights and she was able to confirm the structure of the benzene ring which was something that had puzzled scientists, including Bragg, for more than 60 years. Another major contribution was her compilation of essential reference tables for X-ray crystallography. So, we should remember Lonsdale for more than her contributions to chemistry, acknowledging her importance as a role model for women and she was someone who made practical recommendations on the changes to society that would make it possible for more women to work in science and industry. And still, that isn't all. In 1935, she and her unusually supportive husband, Thomas Lonsdale, became members of the Society of Friends, and as Quakers, they opposed war. But Kathleen Lonsdale refused to register for war work and thus was sentenced to a month in Holloway Prison. Her experiences of the dire conditions led her to become a campaigner for prison reform. Later, she also became internationally known as a leader in movements opposing nuclear testing and armaments. And to finish with, something to think about. A quotation from Lonsdale herself, which is at least as relevant today to young and to old scientists, at least as relevant as it was in the 1950s. I believe in good, not just as a hypothesis, but as absolutely fundamental to all my way of life. A scientist should take interest in national and international affairs not as a politician, but in making sure that facts are properly known and trying to ensure that science is used for good and not for evil purposes.